My father started the business after World War II, and we've been servicing restaurants and food service institutions ever since. It was a very, very, probably the most humble beginning ever. My brother stayed in a small store we had. I started going to restaurants, and from that emerged Tarantino Foods. Uh, remember that it was a much more quiet time in the American economy. The suburbs were just beginning. People did not go out to dinner as often as they do now, but as the style of living changed, people started to go out, more restaurants opened. If there is any one factor that helped our growth, it was customer service. Uh, my father had a truck, spoke broken English, but was loved by his customers. He would do anything for a customer. And he knocked it into me, and I've done likewise with my son. So I think that one thing people think of Tarantino doing is giving good customer service. That's above anything else. We were the first produce food service distributor to purchase refrigerated trucks. That gives you fresher product and it gives you longer shelf life on your product. Deliveries go out every day. They start leaving here around 3, 30, 4 o'clock in the morning and they don't stop leaving here until like 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And there's still those times that you'll take stuff on the way home. The way we handle our products from refrigerated trucks coming into our building totally refrigerated climate in our building, delivered on our refrigerated trucks, temperature controlled from field to restaurant door is a reflection of the service level that Tarantino Foods gives to its customers. Another aspect of our business is uh, gourmet items. Uh, we carry a line of Roland products, which is a premier product it, it, most chefs recognize it by name, they know it's going to be a quality product. They have all the unique items uh, from truffle oils to truffle creams to uh, vinegars and oils and olives and you name it, they have all those special items that uh, you would use for a special occasion. We carry Asian items, Chinese, Vietnamese, Indian items. We have uh, an immense number of Italian products. We have cheeses from all around the world. If a restaurant uses an item, we usually will have it. We have a full line of disposable products from napkins to to-go containers to souffle cups. It makes a lot of sense to carry some of these other items because at the restaurant there's usually a space problem. A lot of these disposal items are big cases. We're big enough to take care of most of the customers' needs, or all their needs, but we're small enough to give them the attention that they deserve. Uh, we buy tomatoes by the truckload. We have rooms where we, what we call, cure tomatoes. We bring our tomatoes down uh, to certain temperatures, raise them to certain temperatures, and uh, bring them to maturity. And then we sort them out to the way the customer likes them. Some customers like small tomatoes, well, just dice them and use them for a salsa or for, you know, on top of a salad. Some will wedge them. Uh, we have some that want them just for subs. They have to be perfect size for subs. So we pull out all the ones that are perfect size for subs and we put them in a, in a box just called J&M's. And then uh, some like the extra large ones for the bun size uh, hamburgers and, and some even make a salad out of them out of the bigger ones. From a restaurant here's perspective is we're gonna get consistent quality and consistent color at the restaurant. It takes someone every day to look and work the tomatoes over. It, it, it is difficult, but so far we've, we've had some good success with tomatoes. The market report that we produce every week is a result of some of the natural disasters that occurred many years ago. And we started with a one-page uh, alert letter that said these items are going to be higher priced for this reason. 
and the letter, the market report actually evolved from two or three of those over the course of a couple of months and it's developed into a weekly adventure and then sometimes there was just some good news. There was no natural disaster or nothing bad happening in the produce industry and we decided to write about some good things that were happening or new items that were available or things that might be coming into place. Reminders of holidays. People forget about Martin Luther King Day or Memorial Day or the 4th of July. And because of our close proximity to Canada, I also mentioned a lot of Canadian holidays because a number of Canadian shoppers come down here and, and frequent our restaurants and our malls and it affects our customers. And if you remind a customer that this is occurring, sometimes it will help them in their planning or their ordering. And that's another service that the weekly market report provides to people. We're very proud of the facility that we have and we encourage customers or potential customers to take a walk through to see what we have to offer. We have one customer in particular that tells my father and myself all the time and his famous word is quote unquote unequal service. And this particular customer said to my father on more than one occasion Mr. T, what am I going to do when the good Lord calls you? And my father came right back at him and said, don't worry, call my son, he will take care of you.